good afternoon. Uh, we've had a bit of a long day today. Uh, we was due to set camp at the top of this hill, which then turned out to be uh, a military uh, camp, a uh, radio station, NATO as well. Uh, so so we, we decided to push on to sort of like the, the next alternative, which <laughs> to be quite honest with you, we're about 20 miles back that way. Uh, a series of new roads were going in has meant that we just had to like keep going. So we, we checked out one or two places on the way here and none of them were suitable. So uh, so coming down this track here and this, this dirt track has been going on for, I don't know, five or 10 kilometers. Uh, it's not tarmac. Just dirt. It looks like they've got some chippings here. It looks like they are gonna maybe tarmac it at some point, or oh, maybe just throw the chippings down and wait till they get washed away type thing. But yeah, we're heading down. We're in a national park, or we're just on the boundaries of a national park, and we're heading down there. Uh, it's just turned five o'clock in the evening, and like I said, we've done enough driving today, and it's it's been a little bit manic. We've come through a city. Uh, uh, we come through a city and I, I can't remember the bloody name of it I, my brain's all fried today uh, which, which were a little bit manic and then coming here has just been just as daft really So, uh, so yeah, th this is sort of like a typical scenario anyway. We find a place like this. We, we may, I think we're going to stop here just one night because we've got zero internet at all. Uh, we need to do some research. So we'll, we'll, we'll move off here tomorrow morning and we'll go and visit the, the gorge, the waterfall, maybe have a swim down there and then we'll push on. So this is a typical camp. Uh, what we tended to do with it being so warm uh, we we are doing most of the cooking. I'll get the barbecue out now, but we tend to be cooking on on dried timber. One of the jobs when we when we pull into a place is any of these stones. These ones we we'll just get out of the way. I call them ankle snappers, and it's me what's going around checking the vehicle at night or whatever. So anything like that, I just create a clear path and get any of these ankle snappers out of the way. Our lockers uh, get really hot during the day. So we're opening all the lockers because everything in here is like, it's so warm. And that, you can't believe how warm that is. Because uh, that's gonna be 40, 50 degrees and Obviously that heat is going up into the into the living area for for on a night. So what, what we started doing is opening like just above this locker here, we've got the water tank here, and then we've got a blanket box. We've even opened up the blanket box to to let some of the, the heat disperse 
on an evening even opening the cupboards up as well we're just opening the cupboards up and then on an evening if we get the, a cold breeze or anything at least the the, the heat is coming out of the camper and I don't know, going up into the sky isn't it uh, another thing to look out for as well when you park anywhere I think this applies to any country really is have a look for ants nests and as you can see just behind this truck we've got an ants nest so they won't bother you right? they're not gonna they're not going to in interfere uh, in fact throw some food down there and they'll be that busy with the food it's not a problem but obviously if you park on top of that ants nest uh, yeah you may have a problem All right, Helen's prepare some chips. That's the fire just about ready to go. Uh, we're just gonna sit here now and watch the sun go down. Helen's sister sent her picture of Hellstone back in Yorkshire today. What date are we on dear? 10th, 11th? Uh, she said it was yesterday, um, but I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, about 11th lost track of dates so it's about the 11th of september so yeah we still uh, 30 plus degrees here uh you can see all the back here my head's sweating uh hence we've come up into the mountains to hopefully get a little bit of fresh air and I some tell her the hailstones would be bliss right now though <laughs> although we did have hailstones last week a couple of weeks ago yeah we had hailstones out here I'll show you this as well. This is our latest modification, which is in the cab. <clears throat> which is, like I say, when you're driving during the day, it's not too bad in here at all. We've got the blinds slightly tilted down, as you can see. But yes, yeah, sometimes we've had a towel in each window. You know, when when you're driving for long periods and the sun's coming through, and it's burning your legs and things like that. But yeah, we've got a this this is the latest modification, which is a uh, it's a branch. So uh, so we're now driving with this with this open. So uh, so yeah, like I, I know when you'll see this. Uh, excuse me, when you'll see this video, it may be snowing back in England. But no, it's uh, on the reverse of that, it's bloody hot here. And uh, yeah, it, it's no fun. You know, you, you, you're you sweating all the time. You're going, t-shirts are going on and off daily and into the washing machine, which has been a godsend on this trip. Uh, and yeah, we, we've come up into the mountains to hopefully get it a little bit cooler. So while I've been reflecting on the day's driving, Helen has been busy. She's got all the firewood ready for cooking on tonight. Kindling, starters, all the way up, all the way up to firewood for, for later. She's down there now, you can see her down there, setting up her trail camera. Been a little bit uh, frustrating for her. Uh, these last few week well the last month really because we haven't really been anywhere where there's been any wildlife yeah I know th there's wildlife all over the place but uh, Helen's YouTube channel is all about uh, trail cameras so it's what you can find on trail camera and you know don't get me wrong on this trip you know we we've done really really good for the trail camera She's coming with some more firewood. We are both very good at starting fires and firecraft. But I don't think I've met a girl what can start fires and manage fires like Helen. She does alright. 
that I'm going to play along with on this one. Uh, well, a bit of fun, eh? You've got the fire extinguisher outlook. The fire extinguisher always helps when the uh, National Park Warden turns up. At least uh, you can show him the fire extinguisher. And if he doesn't like the fact that he's still got a fire going, you've got the fire extinguisher there, you can always hit him with it. I mean, uh, apologise and uh, move on. I think we're having a night around the fire tonight. I think Helen's expecting it to be cold. Is it going to be cold tonight, Helen? Probably not. But... There's no wrong with having plenty of firewood, is there? Oh, that's right. We can always cook breakfast on it. So we've got no internet tonight. Uh, or very, very little internet. So uh, it's always only to have books. Or a Kindle, if... Uh, yeah, you see that, that way out. Uh, Chris, I know you're a big fan of the channel, but uh, this extreme ad target range is absolutely trash, to be honest with you. So if you if if you watch this one, Chris, please please stick to your original stuff. It's not a signed copy, is it? Uh, it's not a signed copy that one, no. no. So, that, eh? Oh, it's straight on chapter one, oh. So uh, we're not missing nothing. I have actually read this book. Uh, yeah, on this holiday. Uh, it weren't. It weren't the best one. You will like them American movies. They're a little bit far-fetched. The guy had a prosthetic hand, and yet he was like James Bond. In fact, he was better than James Bond. And he took more beatings than James Bond. You'll just sit back and relax, I'll sort this. If you want a job doing proper. <coughs> just chill out, just relax. That's it. Helen, the chief fire starter. That's the YouTube name. <laughs> We can't, we can't uh, reveal the the actual name, what we call each other when we start in fires. But, uh, but yeah, the fire is now lit. The burgers will be going on very shortly. Begins with W and rhymes with anchor. <laughs> <laughs> That's light. That's a couple of there. That's, you can put Stop blocking the fire. Yeah, it's like an Harry Potter. Wizardry Wait. stick. I bet you can cast spells with that. Has it even got an animal? Hell, I like a good fire poking stick. You've got to have a poker stick. just mentioned to Helen about mosquitoes and I looked down at my ankles and I, I had one on the on my ankle so we've got but the local uh, this is Johnson's mosquito this one's the sport we do have the other one I don't know what the differences are uh, and also we've got the curly whirlies which are like uh, burning incense sticks and then we have inside the the switchable on and off nighttime one. So uh, 
I don't think we've seen any mosquitoes in the last week or so. Uh, but yeah, it's always handy to uh, get plenty of mosquito repellent. Burgs are done, chips are done. Put some music on, love. Sunglasses now. I suppose not. <laughs> 